I've had my poll set up in my home for 10 months now. Let's check in on my progress. This video will serve as a beautiful reminder of my favorite phrase, progress isn't linear. Although I'm always so excited to show you guys how I've developed over the months, this month is not very impressive. December is really busy and hectic, and I haven't had time for much poll training. Plus, in the past week or so, I've developed a mysterious vertigo. So you're not going to see me going upside down or spinning at all in this video. And that limits a lot of what I can show off. But here are some little things that I allowed myself to do. It's been a long time since I've been on the poll. Like I said, I haven't had many training sessions this month, and I can definitely feel that my strength has faded. And that's okay. You don't need to always be capable of busting out your hundred greatest tricks anytime someone points a camera at you. It's okay to be gentle with yourself. You'll see here that I try to go into a jasmine and then realize my head is about to drop below my hips, which I was trying not to let it do to keep the vertigo from happening again. And that's totally fine. It's okay to modify exercise or to give yourself a long break from exercise that may be detrimental to your overall health. So here I am on a static pole doing moves that you've seen a hundred times before way worse than you've ever seen me do them. And that is totally fine. At least I have a cute little Santa hat, right? Yes, I am a bit like a reindeer in the headlights <laughs> when my pole can't be spinning and my head can't be going upside down. It was hard to find things to do in this video that my body would allow me to do, but this is the only body I've got and I've got to value it and trust it and know that if it's not feeling well, I don't need to push it. And that is a message for all of you pole dancers out there. This sport is really, really hard and it's okay if your 10 months of progress video looks way less impressive than your nine months of progress video. I don't even have any particular moves that I've been working on lately because it's just been so long since I've had a nice long pole training session. I'm excited to get back to them in the new year when I'm feeling better, but for now, here's what I've got. And yes, this flag is sad because it's much harder on a static pole, okay? <laughs> I guess this thing is my big show offy move for this video because it is the thumbnail after all. <laughs> I'm not even sure what this is. I don't know if this is like prep for an iron X or what, but I don't know, feels kind of cool. Check it out, I'm making progress. <laughs> and don't be feeling too bad for me. My ho ho holiday spirit is still high and I was still rocking out and dancing around while filming this session. Even though I'm not doing the wildest moves known to pole kind, I can see just from reviewing this footage that I am getting a lot stronger and smoother at some of the foundational stuff. And that is progress too. Here's me trying to link a couple of moves together so it's not just like, cool, there's my impressive move and I'm on the floor again. <laughs> Maybe I should do static pull more often. But I'll be honest with you all, I was getting pretty exhausted. When you're not training consistently, your body is like, um, what are you, what are you asking me to do? <laughs> and that makes it a lot harder. But again, that's fine. It's what my body needed to take a little break. You know what doesn't involve going upside down or spinning? floor work. So as my holiday gift to you all, please enjoy me doing a little bit of floor work. I think it's coming along. I don't know, maybe the heels and the knee pads are doing all the heavy lifting here. And it's probably hilarious watching me do this because I did have to remove the real song I was dancing to because I'm tired of getting copyright claimed. So please enjoy me, um, you know, feeling myself to whatever generic Christmassy song this is playing in the background.
you'll see that I catch myself once or twice like doing a little hair whip or something and then being like, oh, I shouldn't do that if I'm experiencing vertigo. Basically, this whole session was like this meme. Don't worry, I am monitoring my health, so I'm excited to return to slaying in the new year. Slaying? Slay? Oh, okay. <laughs> And yep, I was pretty exhausted by this point. Like I said, if you take a long break away from pole, doing anything pole related again for the first time feels like a reality check. <laughs> but that's okay, that's all part of the journey. Thanks for joining me for this unconventional progress update. Happy holidays to all and to all a subscribe.